Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Dollhouse Miniatures Christmas haul. I'm going to show you things that I bought to decorate my dollhouses for Christmas. I went to Joann's, Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, and Michael's. Most of the things that I bought are not dollhouse miniatures. They're things that are either repurposed that I can use in the dollhouse or they're things that I can use to make dollhouse miniatures. I enjoy making Christmas minis because of course it's cheaper and also it's a lot of fun. Let me show you what I got. We'll start with the Dollar Tree. First I have these figures and I think they're too large to be used on a mantle or a tabletop, but they should work for outside decorations like on the porch or in the yard. These are pipe cleaners from the craft section. I can use these as tinsel for the Christmas tree and wrap them around garlands. I also found this glitter and it's ultra fine so it should work in miniature scale. I can cover these beads with the glitter to make ornaments. I wanted to try this glue because of the pointy top. Not really a Christmas thing, but I found this stylus in the craft section, which is a tool that I use a lot. I found these ornaments in the Christmas decoration section. I plan to replace the ribbon and bow to make them look like real presents. The Christmas aisle had a few more things that I can use to decorate my real house and my doll houses. These will look really cute hanging from my real Christmas tree, but they're gonna have to share their scarves with my dolls. Another dual purpose item that I found are these gift tags. I can frame these and use them as Christmas artwork. These tags will make nice gift bags. They even come with strings that I can use for handles. The last thing I got from Dollar Tree are these hair ties. To me they look like the perfect scarves for my dolls. Now let's see what I got from Hobby Lobby. Almost everything that I got from here was 50% off. They have these beads and they call them glitter pebbles and I've used these before for ornaments. Here are a few pictures of how they look when I've used them in some of my older dollhouses. These are like the metallic pipe cleaners I got at the dollar store but in different colors. These squares of tissue paper are the perfect size for gift bags. For only $1.50, this Santa suit was too cute to pass up. These hats are too small for a doll, but I've used similar ones before on my dollhouse pets. I thought this pack of scrapbook paper was a great deal at $3.50. The prints are small enough so that I can use them for gift bags and wrapping paper. It comes with several sheets and a variety of different prints. These are very thin rolls of masking tape and I think they'll be perfect for ribbons on presents. I thought these would make good ornaments. I've used these before and they make really good garlands. 
These are like the ones I got at the dollar store, and even though they were $1.50, I went ahead and got them because some of them have glittery paper, and there are 24 in this pack. These are some tags that might make good wall hangings. Now the next few items are from the dollhouse miniature section and I didn't get much from here because these things were not on sale. This ribbon is from the sewing section and it was marked down to $1 each. I got these from the craft wood section. I can use these for presents by wrapping them in the paper that I bought. I'm not sure if these will work because they're very small. The last few items that I got from Hobby Lobby are from the wedding section and they were all marked 50% off. This is the last thing from Hobby Lobby. These might look cute in a floor vase. Here's what I got from Michaels. I only picked up a few things from here. I got this ribbon to be used in real life decorating and the pattern is small enough to be used as a dollhouse blanket. The wire inside makes it easy to make real size bows and it also drapes nicely when you're using it in your dollhouse. These stickers were in the clearance bin for $1. This is a piece of felt that can be used for making a tree skirt or stockings. These tiny trees can be used on a mantle or a tabletop. The last thing I got from Michaels are these tiny beads. I plan to use them on the Christmas tree in my log cabin. I bought fabric from Joann's that had Christmas prints that were small enough to be used in a dollhouse. Well, I hope you enjoyed this haul. I'll be sharing what I did with all of these things in my upcoming videos. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching!